First of all, to get an impression for our viewers, can you tell me a little bit what Vajana is all about? Vajana is a, uh, a, the latest Disney animation movie coming out this December. And it's set in the Pacific Islands of Oceania. And it's about a young woman named Vajana who sets out on a journey to actually to save her world and to reconnect with her own identity, with who she really is. And how long have you been working on this project? And what have been the, the, the steps from the idea to the final film? I've been working on the film for about four and a half years. We've been, in general, uh, the directors, Ron Clements and John Lester, been on the film for about five years, starting with an idea. And uh, very soon after an idea, we started research. We went into very deep research in the Pacific Islands, meeting with people, talking to people, and then came back, pitched a story idea to our chief creative officer, John Lasseter, who loved the idea, loved the world, loved the setting, and loved the idea. And um, then we went into story development, which in our world includes script writing, working with storyboarding, putting up story reels, and uh, giving ourselves notes, working with our story trust, giving notes, improving it, giving notes, improving it. We do this many times before we even begin production. And then there's the whole process of animation production. Okay. Music is always playing a significant role in every Disney animated film. Uh, what about this one? Absolutely, music plays a huge part in our movie. Um, we put together a team, an incredible musical team, starting with uh, Mark Mancina, who was the first to join the team. He is our score composer, as well as part of our three-part musical team. The second team member that joined us was Opataya Fwai. Opataya uh, founded and is the lead singer and songwriter for a band named Te Vaka, who are very steeped in roots music. He's a Samoan, Tukalan, Tukalan. Uh, grew up in New Zealand. And uh, finally, completing our magic three is Lynn manuel Miranda, who uh, wrote and starred in uh, the musical Hamilton, which was sort of a phenomenon on Broadway, the Tony Awards, Pulitzer Prize, the Carthaginians Award, you name it. So we have this team of three very, very strong musicians working together and with us to bring the music to life. When you're looking for new stories, how do you at Disney Animation make sure that only the best stories get to be told? Well, we start with directors. We start with people. The directors work on ideas, find something that truly, truly inspires them. And once uh, John Lasseter is on board and the other directors, our, our, our story trust, is on board, we begin to develop the story. And I think the main tool that we have for telling great stories is uh, a combination of really smart people on our story trust, all the directors who help the core directors of a, of a project dig deep and find the story. John Lasseter, who has an incredible sense of story and can really, really pinpoint issues and problems and how to uplift a story. But not only do that, he helps you do that in your own voice so that the voice of the storytellers of the directors is maintained. And then as the team grows, we bring in some of the best talent in the world, both within the studio and like our musicians and writers from outside the studio to be part of our team. Okay, so I can imagine that the story might change because of the story trust and so. So, are we, what we're going to see on screen, is it exactly what you um, imagined at the start? Or? No, it's much better than what we imagined at the start. <laughs> uh, we started with a core story and many of the elements that were in our hearts at the beginning of the process are in the film, but they're realized in ways that we could never have imagined, both in terms of the growth of the character of Ayana, the growth of the character of Maui, their relationship. It took us a while to find the right tone for that relationship. We wanted to find humor in it as well as heart in it. There's transformation within it. And um, as the story grew, as we cast, and as the writers worked and the story artists worked, the art people worked, the design, the production designer, the art directors, and then the animators, the story took on a life of its own. And it really is much better than we could ever have imagined. And what has been the most difficult part in making the movie? The difficult part, I think, in making a movie like this is that it's made up of so many people and so many details and so many frames and in animation. Every single thing you see and hear has to be created. If it has to be created, it has to be designed, it has to be approved, it has to be in our world, iterated on again and again. And so bringing all those details and people together to have a singular vision is one of the challenges of an animated movie. 
I was lucky. I had Ron Clements and John Lusker as directors, and they've done this before. They know how to harness the creativity of a big team of people to make a singular story. And how did you get involved with this project? Was Did the directors approach you, or was it the other way around? Um, I had worked originally at Pixar. I came to Disney Animation as the head of development, and there were quite a number of wonderful movies in development, including Zumania at the time. And, um, and Moana, which drew my heart very much, and Ron and John approached me and asked if I would be their producer, and we all thought it was a fabulous match, and we've been working together ever since. Yeah. Um, Viana is a very modern and independent character. How would you describe the voyage of female heroines in Disney films from Snow White to Viana? You know, I think Disney movies both reflect the times that they're made in and help lead thinking in the times that they're made in. So um, rather than analyze where female characters have been and where they're going, I can tell you that we're very, very proud of Moana, who she is as a character, who she is as an empowered hero of her own story, as a character that saves her island, as a character who has this incredible balance of compassion and power and strength and determination. I think she's a unique character. Yeah. And what is the actual state of the film uh, at this point? What needs to be done until it's, it hits the theaters? The film is almost done. Most of the departments have wrapped. The departments that are still working right now are the lighting department where we take every single shot. We have beautiful now in our new program that Disney has created. There's really wonderful foundation lighting so it looks nice. But the next level up, which is when lighting takes and brings out certain aspects of a frame, helps the storytelling through what is enhanced, as well as in the gorgeous colors of our world. So lighting is still going on. Stereo, which is making the stereo version, the three-dimensional version of the movie. And sound, we're still in mix and in Foley and just finishing it up. Okay. At the presentation earlier, you mentioned that the rooster, Hey Hey, was sometimes out of the film and then got back in again. Can you tell me a little bit about that? Yes, there was a moment, we thought hey, it was always funny, but there was this moment where we felt like, you know what, I don't know if he's earned his way into the movie, and that's part of what we do. We examine every aspect of the story and make sure it is still viable, and beyond that, it's still fantastic, and still an integral part of the story. And there was a moment there where Hey Hey just didn't feel like he was meeting our standard of what we wanted, and um, we tossed it out to our story team. We have incredible story storyboarding artists and said, what are your thoughts? What should Hey Hey be? And one of the story artists came back with the idea of um, creating a really dumb, dumb rooster, a stupid rooster, and his pitch was so funny. We were laughing out loud, and Hey Hey earned his way back into the movie. Wonderful. I'm really looking forward to this film. Thank you for the interview. Thank you.